I am now the proud owner of these bad boys, AirPod Pros. Apple sells them for around $250, give or take. I bought mine off eBay for $50. Did I really just waste $50 buying some knockoff piece of tech, or did I stumble upon the deal of a lifetime? The answer will not shock you. Play the intro. I've got to do everything around here. <laughs> It was a dark summer day. I came to the very sudden realization that my audio receptacles were not up to code. With the swiftness of something really fast, I hop onto apple.com only to realize, oh no, it's out of financial reach. Curse this empty wallet. I was desperate, I was impulsive, and most importantly, I was stupid. But riddle me this, Batman. How stupid must I have felt when these bad boys showed up at my front door one week later? I felt like the biggest big brain on the planet. I had essentially just cheated the system. I just bought a $250 pair of headphones for only 50 bucks. That makes a man feel powerful, you know? And you know, I probably would have continued to feel that way if I hadn't done my research beforehand. I don't know how to raise one eyebrow, so I'm just, I'm just doing this. There are an endless number of stories, all telling the exact same tale. Somebody buys AirPods online and gets fake ones in return. And you know, a little part of me wished that the same thing would happen to me. I would buy AirPods, I would get fake ones, so that I could make a video on them. Is that what happened? No, no, absolutely not. Not even the slightest chance. I mean, $50 down the train, that, that, that is a story. I have my suspicions, I'll tell you that right now, but actually I wanna go over them and see what kind of features they have and actually determine if they are real. Because if they are, then it'd be kind of a waste to return them, right? And if they're not real, then I'm probably gonna cry about it for the next couple weeks, and then after that, find the nearest bridge and probably jump off. But hey, who cares if they're fake, right? It's not like I just promised to jump off a bridge if they are, so why don't we just get started? Roll the intro already. Oh crap, we already did. <laughs> Let's actually take these bad boys out of the case, huh? Ooh, that's satisfying. Pulling them out and putting them on the table, they don't look that fake. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to tell. But the thing that kinda got my suspicion rising was when I tried to change the ear tips. Because on the right one, no problem. They just, it just pops off like a real pair of AirPods. The left one, however, it just doesn't wanna come off. It just kinda doesn't want... Yeah, that actually happened. It just pops back together. You don't have to worry about it. Jeez, my voice can go deep. Whoa. <laughs> I got pretty damn lucky that I'm a medium sized because that's what was glued on. But besides all that, the AirPods themselves look like they could pass off as real. It's only when you put them on that stuff gets interesting. All right, follow me through here. You're just minding your own business one day. You're either walking past a construction site or in some heavy traffic or a Hadron Collider or literally hell or even St. Louis. Yeah, I'd say it's worse. The cries of the sinners and the screams of the damned are just too much for your mortal ears. This is what St. Louis has to offer. So in an act of desperation, you open your fresh new AirPods. You put them in to cancel out the world around you. All of this is to say that the noise canceling doesn't work. Noise canceling? You're gonna wanna chop that one right out of your memory, pal. Because it just doesn't work. It gives me the option to turn it on but it don't do shit. Guys, I think I got scammed. But that's not all. Another feature that's sort of, kind of, maybe possibly missing is spatial audio. I don't know why I said it like that. Basically, it's like 5.1 surround sound. All right, let me demonstrate. This is what the real AirPods sound like with spatial audio. It sort of sounds like the instruments are kind of all around you. You know, they're like encompassing. Look how much fun that guy's having. And this is what my AirPods do. What the fuck? Well said, my guy. How about that sound quality? Is it aural for you? Aural with an AU, that is. Can you feel the bass? 
notes? How about them high-end notes? The mid-range is really popping. So just tell me already. How do they sound? It's bad. It's, it's really bad. Audiophiles beware because, oh! They do not sound good. Out of the box, they pretty much sound like, you know, those earphones you might buy at the gas station, for example, but with a bit of tuning, they actually sound pretty decent. The thing is though, if you wanna get the most out of these earphones, you're gonna to wanna to crank that high end pretty high because they are very lacking in that um, quality. But bass is um, bassy. Some would say too bassy, I would say too bassy, but you can, of course, lower that in the equalizer. And while they don't have active noise canceling, they definitely do have passive noise canceling, which is basically like the benefit of having ear tips, those pesky, unremovable ear tips. They naturally sort of block out outside noises, so that's good at least. And I've tested a couple genres of music just to make sure they're at least consistent, and they're not, but they do a fairly decent job of pretty much any genre of music. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the sound quality. They're pretty unremarkable. Of course, you would be better off just, you know, buying the real things, but at this point, if you're considering buying knockoff AirPods, you have no dignity left. Accept it. Look, the real risk for these isn't just the fact that you're getting a fake product. The, the risk is your information, specifically your credit card information, because while I'm not so aware of the security that eBay has, I am very aware the fact that there are people who are willing to lie to you to make an extra buck. And that's just how it works. Okay, let me just summarize here. Whoever sold you these fake AirPods, not to be trusted, okay? They are most likely associated with at least some sort of Russian mafia, okay? They're gonna come to your house, they're gonna steal your money, they're gonna kidnap your family, and they will eat your children if given the chance. Do not give them that chance. Look, I am exaggerating a bit. Maybe, but point is, don't buy them for your own sake, really.